Hi everybody. Uh, this is um, we're going to do grade seven mathematics for Open Up Resources, Unit Two, Lesson Eleven, interpreting graphs of proportional relationships. So first, there's a proportional relationship between the number of months a person has had a streaming movie subscription and the total amount of money they have paid for the subscription. The cost for six months is forty-seven dollars and ninety-four cents. That's in U.S. dollars. The point six comma 47.94 is shown on the graph below. That's right here. Right there on the graph. Okay, A says, what is the constant of proportionality in this relationship? Well, we know that the constant of proportionality is equal to y divided by x. So in this case, in our, in our point of 6 comma 47.94, this is x comma y. So we do 47.94 divided by 6. And that equals 7.99 per one month. So that's seven dollars and ninety-nine cents for every month. Okay. B says, what does the constant of proportionality tell us about the situation? Well, we know that the movie service is going to cost seven dollars and ninety-nine cents for every month. C says, add at least three more points to the graph and label them with their coordinates. So what they're asking for us to do is to figure out how much money we're going to spend on this movie streaming service at different times. So first off, I went down here and I said, well, if we never sign up for the movie service at zero months, we're going to spend zero dollars. So that's a way to consider like saving money by not signing up for something. Then if we, if we double the six months out to 12 months, we're at $95, at $95. Um, and I approximated that. It's not exactly $95, but it's just about $95. And then further on, at 19 months, we would have spent $150 on the streaming service. So <clears throat> you can see the prices, how they grow over time. You're going to keep paying the same amount, and it is a proportional relationship for two reasons. One, it starts here at the origin, and the graph represents a straight line. So just by visually looking at the graph, we can see that it's a proportional relationship. Okay, number two. The graph shows the amount of almonds in grams for different amounts of oats and cups in a granola mix. Label the point 1 comma k on the graph and find the value of k and explain its meaning. Okay, so let's see if I can get both in the picture here. All right, so we've got our graph here, and the question says label the point 1 comma k. So I see my units down here are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 cups of oats. So I know that on my x-axis, I come over to 1, and I go up to where the, um, the line for 1 intersects the graph. And I put my point there, and I try to in, uh, interpolate where it is over here on the y-axis for the amount of almonds and grams. So I see that it's about halfway between 20 and 30. So I said it's 1 comma k, or also known as 1 comma 25. So then, then up here it says label the point and explain its meaning. Again, this is about interpreting graphs, so I'm trying to figure out what do these graphs mean. The words of our answers today are almost more important than the numbers. For every cup of oats, there are 25 grams of almonds. So that's what we know from this. All right, number three says to make a friendship bracelet, some long strings are lined up and taking one string and tying it in a knot with each of the other strings to create a row of knots. So we read further on, are the numbers of knots proportional to the number of rows? Explain your reasoning. Yes, they are. Each row will have the same number of knots. So as you're tying the strings, it's going to be the same number of knots on every single row with different colors. And then number four, number four says, what information do you need to know to write an equation relating two quantities that have a proportional relationship? Well, you need to know the constant of proportionality. That's the most important thing. When we have y equals kx as our general equation for the constant of proportionality relating two quantities in a proportional relationship, y equals kx is going to be the most important thing. So k is the most important thing in that equation that we have to know. Okay, hope that was helpful. Again, this was Unit 2, Lesson 11 of Grade 7, Open Up Resources. Keep learning, keep making mistakes.